My name is Terry Irwin and this is one of TCII's best business practice videos and the topic is change leadership. Essential but not simple. Companies often talk about what they must do to respond to competitive pressures but uh, don't get around to doing anything. Others take too long to implement needed changes and this results in cost overruns and a failure to deliver what is needed and what was expected. The cost of change is partly due to the actual cost of the business transaction, which could be restructuring, merger, disposal, downsizing and so on. But it's also a result of the decreased employee productivity, unstable marketplace perception, loss of key stakeholders, negative consumer reaction and loss of trust in the leadership of the organisation. Change can be a complex process for organisations which have to respond to competitive pressures in rapidly changing and sometimes hostile environments and for individuals who have to manage their lives more effectively within these organisations in alignment with, say, new corporate goals and values. It's therefore essential to understand the fundamentals of change at both the organisational and individual level in order to break down the natural resistance to change. To succeed with change, you have to address both the hard and the soft issues. So don't just focus on new systems, new processes and structure. You also need to focus on the behavioural and cultural issues related to it. In order to accelerate change, an organisation must have a clear, market-focused rationale for the change. A sense of urgency, but not undue haste. A well-articulated vision of the end game. A strong and unified leadership possibly involving an emotionally uninvolved third party, for instance a consultancy like TCII, and focused initiatives that clearly outline the journey from A to B. This all requires effective communication, whereby the changes needed are well grounded in a rationale that makes them compelling and palatable. It's the behavioural aspects of communicating that will accelerate the change because adopting and living the new behaviours is the goal. So amid all the complexity, what's to be done? Well, the essential but not so simple answer lies with strong change leadership. Change leadership is all about the actions that are undertaken by accountable managers and project teams, ensuring that the intended changes, the things we talk about a lot, become a reality in day-to-day -day activity. It usually begins with senior management sponsoring an initiative and appointing a change leader, who in turn will put together an appropriate project team. The team will then expand the work into a wider group of stakeholders who will help design and plan the deployment of the resulting change. Ultimately, all end users and the respective management become engaged in implementing the change. Typical change leadership activities will therefore include the creation of leadership commitment, validating the business case, the concept design and the project plan, strengthening the business case accountability, coaching and training the project team, for instance running change leadership workshops, assessing leading stakeholder involvement and commitment, uh, for instance using stakeholder surveys, planning and implementing a timely and effective communications rollout, that is the use of integrated communications coaching and supporting line managers in using change leadership to deploy any new systems and processes effectively, measuring and tracking effective deployment. These activities will all add value because they'll build commitment from the project team during the design phase, they'll support the implementation of the changes during the development phase and the change accountability phase, and they'll maximise sustained involvement of all stakeholders post-deployment. Such change leadership methodology will get changes actioned and reduce risks by building clear expectations, effective communications, high stakeholder involvement, strong leadership and high levels of accountability for implementation. If you're interested in finding out more, call me, Terry Irwin, on 0207 099 2621 or download our free snapshot on this topic from our website at tcii.co.uk.